questions I had for you was, you know, how did they go about building it? And, and how did that relate to John Johnston? I know he... Actually, uh, John Johnston was on the Canal Commission, uh, so that was actually part of his plan there. Um, the canal system was actually all hand dug. It began in 1825 in Cincinnati, and it was finally finished in 1845 in Toledo. So it wasn't finished, it took that it, long? It took to... about 20 years. It was all hand dug by mainly German and Irish immigrants. Huh. So uh, Now the, the area that goes through Piqua though, um, it's pretty convenient that it was right through the back of his house. Um, right. <laughs> right behind his home and he was able to get his goods out on, on that system. Um, did they have a number of people working, like crews of people that would do a section and then move on? Uh, yes, um, after each section was completed, then they could actually use the canal up to that section to where it was completed to. Okay, so, so it, it was an ongoing process. Right, it, so it was actually in operation around 1827 when it was finished into Dayton. So between Cincinnati and Dayton, they did use the canal. So people could have access to it. Right. Um, and, and they used different man-made lakes, like the Lake of St. Mary's. Is that, right. That's one of the reservoirs. In right. tandem. It. Okay. Which is one behind the other. In tandem, and, and, and then you had a person on the canal that would... Uh, they right. would control them? The hoagie. It was called a hoagie. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then the other people that would be on a canal boat, you had a person that was with, that had a tiller. Yeah, the steersman. Uh, the steersman. Steer the boat. Had the tiller in the back. And uh, the canals were for mostly cargo or families traveling um, on the canal boats Actually, also? it was used for almost anything. Uh, it was the main means of transportation at that time. So, so people and cargo. Um, right. Any kind of livestock? Um, all types of livestock. Lumber, uh, limestone. So it was an incredible system. It was almost, and, and I guess if you look on your maps, it almost follows exactly uh, what is now known as I-75. Right. Uh, all the way through Ohio. So and it was the actually, early I-75. Um, the canal did fall to a flood, uh, the Great Flood of 1913, ah. which uh, pretty much halted the whole canal. Era. Really, it, it, it was being slowly taken over by railroad, by I would railroad. imagine. Yeah. Well, it sounds like uh, 1913 was a pretty hectic year for the canal system, kind of finished it off. Well, I appreciate you uh, joining me, taking the time to uh, yeah. uh, talk about the canal a little bit. We, we, thank, we thank Cindy here. Um, I appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, come on out to the uh, Pickle Historical Area and, and see what's going on here. I thank you for joining me. This has been Brady Cress with Exploring Historic America.